Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be covering Holocaust. He made his first appearance in X-Men Alpha, issue number one, that was released in December of 1994. His real name is William Rolfson, also going by the aliases of Nemesis, Genocide, and the Horsemen of Famine. And he's allegedly the extremely powerful mutant son of N. Sabaneur, AKA Apocalypse, with him in his physical form being six feet three inches tall and weighing 240 pounds, originally also having blue eyes and blonde hair. Although now he's more of a skeleton with an ethereal fiery mist around him, typically being shown within an extremely powerful and durable containment suit. Now, Holocaust's main mutant power is his ability to absorb various ambient energies, primarily the life force energy of other beings, pretty much making him an energy vampire. And when he does this, he augments his own abilities, likewise being fully sustained by these energies, not needing any external food, water, air, or sleep. Now, at one point, Holocaust was enhanced by Onslaught's amazing abilities. And at his max, Holocaust had low-level superhuman strength, being able to lift a couple of tons, while also having moderate superhuman stamina, reflexes, speed, and durability. But of course, his durability was even slightly higher when he was in his armor. Holocaust also displayed a moderate amount of psionic resistance, as well as being able to fly, not to mention being able to wield an extremely powerful plasma blast, being able to release bursts that were 1 million degrees Fahrenheit. Now, I also have to mention that his extremely advanced armor has slight shape-shifting abilities, which were powered by his vampiric energy absorption. However, one weakness is that when he was outside of his armor, his body would be in a more intangible energy-like state. And this meant that he would constantly have to feed on others' energy to maintain a form. Now, of course, being the son of Apocalypse means that Holocaust was a beast, physically and mentally. Now, one day he was sent by his father to take out the X-Men, and he would successfully take out a small group of young mutants and the Scarlet Witch, which in turn would make him an extremely powerful enemy in Magneto, who would eventually hunt him down and destroy him only leaving his spiritual essence behind. Now this essence or energy would eventually be sent back to Apocalypse and put into a near indestructible armor that he wears to this day. Dark Beast really did him a solid by creating him such a nice suit. Now, being from Earth 295, Holocaust would play a very pivotal role in the Age of Apocalypse storyline with him dominating battles against powerful opponents such as Sabretooth, Wild Child, Blink, and Rogue, while barely falling to the Omega-level mutant Nate Gray, AKA X-Man. Now, during the confusion of a battle between his father Apocalypse, Magneto, and X-Man, Holocaust would be stabbed by X-Man with a small shard of the M-Cran crystal, which caused a unique reaction that sent the two combatants into Earth 616, which is the main universe of Marvel. Here, he would immediately come upon, do battle with, and defeat various acolytes, including their leader, Exodus. Following this, he would come upon the powerful, villainous, psionic version of Charles Xavier, known as Onslaught, and would willingly become an agent of this supervillain, seeing it as a chance to get back at Nate Gray. Holocaust would go on to clash with various superhero teams, such as X-Force and the Avengers, and he would finally get his rematch with X-Man, although this time, X-Man's time manipulation would lead to Holocaust becoming trapped in time, then briefly having to join the superhero team Exiles in order to return to the correct timeline. But unfortunately for Holocaust, the Exiles' adventures would eventually lead to them coming across an evil alternative form of Hyperion, who would prove to be a foe far beyond even Holocaust's abilities, with this vastly powerful form of Hyperion eventually breaking Holocaust's armor and absorbing, literally inhaling his essence. And from what we see, this completely killed him. Now, for his powers and abilities, and his influence on the Marvel Universe, for my 1 to 10 rating, I'll give Holocaust a rating of 8, which is an unforgettable rating. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like, subscribe, and join the new Sage.